You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Microphones and cleaning everything out. It looks good. You've done a good job. And it smells like peppermint in here, so that's... Well, that, that is her favorite scent, her it being is. Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Oh, uh, welcome to Elf Centered, everybody. Uh, My name is Gavin. And I'm Beatrice. And we have a wonderful show for you today. It is the end of February. It's a leap day. Amazing. (laughs) Only comes along every four years or so. And very exciting. We have a huge special guest coming today. That's right. Today, coming on Elf Centered, is none other than our own Mrs. Claus. I can't believe... I'm a little... Does my, you know, collar straight with the points on it? Does it look good? It is. You might want to straighten your, your hat. The pointy okay. bit is facing the wrong way. Okay. There you go. That No, that looks good. Well, Beatrice, how did the bake sale go? It was amazing. I sold out. Wow. Your scotcheroos just My sold out? My scotcheroos went of course. like a house on fire. I am not surprised at all. But another successful bake sale. Excellent. And so that's for the renovations for the workshop. Yes. And uh, that's going to be nice when they finally get around to fixing that. It will be. It'll be a little warmer. It's been very chilly in there. I know. Those drafts come in and whoo boy. Yeah, right up the old elf shoes. Yeah. yeah. You do not want a draft in your elf shoes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Beatrice, she's here. <gasps> she's here. <clears throat> well, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're very happy and honored to welcome to the show Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus, thank you so much for coming today. It's a pleasure to be here. One moment. Let me just tell my driver something. Keep the engine running, just in case. Oh. It's a pleasure to be here, well, Gavin, Beatrix. Beatrice, well, excuse me. It's wonderful to... Everyone makes that mistake. So, I mean, not that it was a mistake. <laughs> oh, it was a mistake. I own my mistakes. Uh, I don't care. Well, this is... We have been so excited all month knowing that you were going to come here today. And we're... As you can see, we have an empty chair. Gary uh, is not here yet. He's <gasps> uh, he's coming over from the mine. So. Gary's coming? Of course, yes. Gary's going to oh, be here. Oh, dear. Um, it, I hope he'll a... pass the clearance uh, outside. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Well, he has a pass to the radio station. I know, so. but he's got to go through the security check. Well, he'll be fine. Okay. You know Gary, <laughs> drop of a hat, he'll strip down to his jingle shoes. That's so. what we're worried about. Oh. He's been red-nosed. Um, really? Yes, he Ooh. has. He oh, has. no. Well, let's just see what happens. Shall uh, we? Shall we? Well, Mrs. Claus, thank you so much for coming today. And um, you have a special cause that you, part of the reason you were here, and I believe it has to do with the, the penguin adoption that's going on later uh, in March. You know me. I love animals, mm-hmm. all kinds of animals, but penguins are my special, special cause and we're having a wonderful adoption and what we're doing is we're trying to raise money for the foundation that I've created for these penguins and the exhibit that I have put together and so we'd like to have everyone come one come all come on out and adopt a penguin there's no limit to how many you can adopt wow I know it's fabulous and they're wonderful wonderful pets I have a penguin and I absolutely love him. His name's that's, Harvey. That's right, Harvey the Penguin. Yeah, he's 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 lovable. He's wonderful. He just follows me around from room to room in my uh, mushroom house, and uh, he's great. Now, I mean no disrespect by asking this, but you only have one. What about you, Beatrice? I, unfortunately, am allergic to penguins. Oh. It's something oh. that has upset me ever since I was a little girl. Because as soon as I could talk, the first thing I wanted was a penguin. But the allergies are horrendous, and I've tried everything. Well, that is something our foundation is also working on, is developing some sort of antihistamine that you can take that would counteract that. Is it possible? Are they they working on breeding, like, hypoallergenic uh, penguins? Absolutely. But we are finding that they have a tendency to smell more than regular penguins. It's something to do with the dander. Penguins have dander. Yeah. I know you find that hard to believe, but that's why you're allergic. I know. So it's a cause near and dear to my heart. And I just love the little critters myself. I have 15. Well, wow. 14. Uh Oh, God, I didn't want to talk about this. Uh-oh, I'm, s- I'm sorry. <laughs> I had one, and um, the last storm that we had yeah. just terrified him. And I found him in the corner with his head in the corner and his feet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's a I- tissue. Thank you so much. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Okay. I'm well, sorry. that's to- that just shows you how much I love these kids. But mm-hmm. I'm going to get another penguin. I just love raising them. You know, it, to raise them 
from babies mm-hmm. is so charming and entertaining and they really bond well you know yeah I mean, no and like for the first month he just sat on my feet and i had to walk around with him on my feet as uh as, but that was it was great that's and, why i encourage people to get two uh, keep both feet warm yeah. can wait, i wait, wait, let go of me wait, wait. Uh, oh, it's, stop it. stop, stop. it's all right he's oh. he's with me he's with me you can let him in <laughs> Oh, hello, hi, Gary. Gary. Oh, hey, guys. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Claus. It's a pleasure to see you. I'm glad you made it through. Oh, uh, so am I. Uh, oh, excuse me. I, they took my clothes off and I have to... I, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Here, take my coat. Please cover it up. Oh, oh I could never. I would never. Bu- Gary, oh. Gary, cover it up. Take cover it, it up. Please. Oh, please. Please. Cover oh it up. okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Claus. You know, another cause that's near and dear to me is the rehabilitation of those that are troubled. So, <laughs> Gary, I'm glad you're here. Oh, oh well, thank you. Who's troubled? Well, that's something we're working on, helping you identify your problems. Oh, okay. Now, Gary, we were talking about penguins. You have adopted a couple penguins yourself, haven't you? I have. Adopted is a kind of a stretch, right. because uh, I adopted one. Yeah, and um, he, uh, you know, he'd he'd hang outside of my um, my uh, apartment, and any passerby, any penguin that was wandering around, he would invite them in, and so I was. Um, I have now. Um, I have five. Penguins. That oh, that just warms the cockles of my heart. Thank you so much, Gary. Oh, see, we need more people like Gary. That is wonderful. Oh, well, you're welcome. But it's been a struggle. Well, what do you feed them? Can I ask? I'm sorry. Well, I... The fish? Fish, that's exactly right. Oh, good. And they I'll love you that. for feeding them fish. I'll try that. Wait, you'll try that. What have you been? What have you been feeding? Them? Well, there was, well, Beatrix's uh, Scotcheroos are a, a clan favorite, and so I've been giving them Scotcheroos. Scotcheroo? What's a Scotcheroo? Well, there, it's this treat that uh, Beatrice made for the um, for the sale, the bake <gasps> sale for the renovation on the toy wing, and. Uh, it's um you you described them very well. They're it's like, it's like lucky fruit, charms. It's like a fruit loop. A fruit loop, that's right. Right. There's a it like these this new batch though has is far and away um even beyond the original uh uh, uh recipe. It's uh, kind of a fruit loop flavor. But then there's uh, there's a banana cream in this this particular batch. I don't know how you did it, Beatrix. There's it's a, ba- a secret a recipe. I'm Keeping close to my heart, and it's it's Beatrice, Beatrice. Beatrix, got it. Uh, well, Mrs. Claus, I wanted to ask you, and of course yes. we'll we'll talk about the penguin adoption more. But um, you know, of course, we work here at the North Pole. We love your husband. Your husband is just amazing. I mean, we you know we're doing it for him, and I think he has a very you know kind of big bold public persona he's this jolly ripe old elf he's got laughs with a bowl full of jelly all that stuff but you get to see him in his more private moments and i'm wondering i don't you know we don't want to get in trouble here but is there what is the other side of santa the side that we don't see well the other side of santa is one that is very very near and dear to me it's the human side he does have a temper oh and uh, he's working on controlling that. He does enjoy, obviously, you can tell he has an eating problem, uh, eating disorder, uh, and we're working on that as well. And I take full responsibility because he loves my party potatoes. And I would also have to say, and I, he's going to get so mad at me for saying this, but he is a wonderful dancer, a wonderful, wow. wonderful dancer. Whoa, really? Salsa is his specialty. I, wow. And that's what, you know, when I first met him, I did not find him charming at all. Really? And he wooed me, he wooed me with flowers and candy and salsa. And that's why we got married. So we continue. That's something we do in our private time. 
well, other okay. than paint, uh, we do salsa. Wow. And if you don't mind me asking, how long have you guys been married? Because it's been a, as far back as I can remember, for sure. I I don't even remember. Isn't that horrible of me to say? But it's decades, right? I mean, it's like, or centuries. All right. I mean, centuries. Let me think about this. 1867, 19, wow. 14, 17. Four, I think it's been 560. Oh God, no! It's longer than that. I, I, isn't this horrible? I don't even know how long I've been married. I think it's endearing. I think it's a testament to the fact you aren't counting the years. It doesn't that your, matter. You're right. Your time together is endless. It's seamless. You're absolutely right. Now, Beatrice, do you have a special fella in your little community? If I, ooh, I love romance. There, I said it. Well, we are just coming off of. Valentine's Day. <gasps> and I seem to recall that Beatrice you were a little bit of flutter around the 14th. Well, it's true. I was a flutter around the 14th. Yeah. I received a Valentine. It was an anonymous Valentine. Oh. It was not signed. It mm. it had a sweet poem inside. Oh. Uh, let's see. I think I I have it oh, here. Oh, wow. Here it is. You ca- wow, you carry it right in your little well, front pocket there. it's the first Valentine I've ever received. Oh, oh we need to find out who this is. The, you know, yes. I'm, I have powers here. Uh, I'll find out. Go ahead. Read it. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Roses are red. Mm-hmm. Violets are blue. Your elf hat is cute. And That's so are you. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow. Wordsmith, so that person is. Oh, there's a second verse. Oh, oh, oh let's oh, hear good. it. This, hopefully this will give us clues. You fell in the snow. It nearly broke my heart. Mm-hmm. Now I see you throwing darts at the dolls that you build. The last verse wow. doesn't isn't Kinda doesn't through. rhyme <laughs> as well as the first verse. Hmm. But yeah. the sentiment is there. And yeah, so I was beautiful. a flutter. Yeah. But I have been around to everybody asking who sent it. I cannot seem to find out. And and then I just felt sort of bereft as if this l- oh. great love came into my life. But I can't figure out who it is. And now I feel more lonely than I was before. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'd like to think that whoever this is is going to send you a second clue. Mm, a second maybe. poem. Wow. Well, Another poem? Yeah. Oh. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't they? If somebody really loves somebody, they would write another poem. Well, what if the person that wrote the poem only had one poem in him? One poem uh, for, in frankly, him. Frankly, what if he only had the first section of it, and then the s- second section is really difficult to put together and publicly humiliated by it? But love knows no bounds, so I think that oh, the maybe. person would really try and step it up. I hate to be a proponent of plagiarism, but there are several, several books in the library here at the North Pole. You know, I'm a big champion of reading and right. how important reading is. Yes. And Elizabeth Barrett Browning, that's all I'm going to say. Well, and uh, I'm glad you brought up the library again because we want to remind everybody that the Big Penguin Adoption is happening March 23rd out at the library. So that is where you're going to want to go uh, to adopt your penguin. Come and one, come all. Please support this wonderful, wonderful cause. And you'll be working there all day? At the I will be working there all day. In fact... I'm thinking of talking to this young lady over here about perhaps donating some scotcheroos for the event. Oh. <laughs> I think I, I think that I could be encouraged oh, to do that. Thank you. I was hoping we could count on your support, Gary. You uh, just keep doing what you're doing in the coal mine. I plan on it because I don't think I have a choice. Now, can if folks come to the penguin adoption and they adopt a penguin, can they get you to autograph their penguin? I would be honored to do that. You know, it's funny you ask because I was going to suggest that, but I thought it might seem a little too egotistical for me to do such a thing. But if you oh. think it's something that, that they would enjoy, I'd be happy. I have a supply of silver fine point sharpies, just in case. Well, I think people would love it because I know that people love you, Mrs. Claus. Oh, people stop. Really, Thank they you love so you. much. Even sometimes a little bit more than Santa, but, you know, like... Wow. Santa has a very difficult job. He does. He's the boss, and we all know how people feel about their bosses. Boy, but do we. Behind every great man, though, there's, oh. a, there's somebody, there's a woman, right? Isn't that how it goes? It, that's, that's how it goes, yes. Okay. 
Well, I do have a lot of secret jobs around here, and I'm Ooh. always watching, Ooh. and I try and help whenever I can, but he, I'm there to support that chubby little fella who I love so much. I, I, you know, the secret jobs, you say. I was in the mines uh, just last week. I mean, I was in there just 25 minutes ago, but last week, I remember I saw, I saw from the corner of my eye, someone that was wearing red and scurrying around and dropping things into the the workmen's uh, lunch pails and i i couldn't figure it out i i thought maybe i was dreaming and now that i see your shape without your cloak on I, it reminds me of the same shape that i saw in the mine I have no idea what you're talking about. What what was oh, this on. person dropping into the the lunch boxes? Well, I'm just curious. I, I, I wouldn't know. I, was I have no idea. Well, I was excited because I thought it was going to be candy or a cake. It was um, it was a, a zucchini and broccoli casserole. Wow. Well, it sounds to me like whoever that person was. Also is a champion against obesity in the elf community. And I cannot speak for whoever that person was, but that is a problem. And I didn't really want to talk about it today because my other cause is why I'm here. But but perhaps maybe some other time. But sure, we, well, we can have you back. Mrs. We would Cross. love to have you back. Oh, you are welcome you so anytime. Much. And we just want to remind everybody, March 23rd in front of the library, come on out, adopt a penguin. And if you adopt a penguin, you're going to say... Really, who adopted who? You know what I mean? Like, who rescued oh, who? Because having right. a penguin in your life is one of the greatest joys. You do have to keep the bathtub filled with ice cubes. But other than that, it's it's really a, a wonderful thing. And Mrs. Claus, you're doing a, a wonderful job out well, there. Well, thank you. And let me just interject. For every one penguin you purchase, we are giving away one bag of ice. So the oh. more penguins, the more ice. I'm just saying. Well, there you go. That's uh, <laughs> oh, That reminds me of the, the weather report. Uh, we can have uh, continued snow flurries for the rest of the afternoon and continued snow into tomorrow and the rest of the month. And uh, mm. But Mrs. Claus, thank you so much for coming and talking to us today. We really appreciate it. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be in your presence. Thank you. <laughs> oh, here's your cloak. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh, I'll get it later. Thank you. <laughs> This episode of Elf Centered was a production of Saturday Morning Media and was completely improvised by Jane Entwistle, Chris Sheets, Grandpa Choco, and special guest Leslie Harmon as Mrs. Claus. Music for this episode by Kevin McLeod. Do you have a question you'd like the Elves of Elf Centered to answer? Send them an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com. Be sure to put Elf Centered in the subject line. Visit Elf Centered online at www.elfcenteredshow.com. And download bonus content for this episode on the free Saturday Morning Media app available for iOS and Android. This month, you can hear what Mrs. Claus's favorite food is and get a recipe for her famous party potatoes. Visit www.saturdaymorningmedia.com forward slash apps for more information. This show, like all Saturday Morning Media shows, are made possible by our fine patrons who set up a recurring pledge at www.patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. Thanks to Shea Stewart, Mer Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Klimo, Melissa Crawford, Chuck, Matthew Wayne Selznick, Dave Slusher, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Bachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, and Vicki DeVries. You guys have made this show and the other shows from Saturday Morning Media possible. Become a patron for as little as a dollar a month over at www.patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. That's www.patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media, all one word. This podcast is copyright 2016 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco, executive producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.